In the 1920s, the United States entered into an era known as Prohibition. Alcohol was outlawed. Bars were forced to operate in back alleys, underground, and exclusive secret clubs known as speakeasies. Now just a hundred years later, Battlezone Championship Wrestling has hand-selected patrons to join our exclusive speakeasy. So what do you say? Are you in? Welcome to Lights Out. Possibly. By the look on the, his face, Brandon <laughs> annoys him as well. Two hundred. Didn't they both weigh two hundred and five pounds? I, you know, it's tough to say. I don't think either one of them weighs two hundred five pounds. Renegade Joey Abel. That would make Joey Abel a cruiserweight. Yeah, it sure would. There's our man. Look at lean and mean. It looks like Joey Abel is putting on more clothes, which is probably a good idea. I mean, he's probably trying to cover up that chest just so it doesn't get beat raw by JD's huge mitts. Kid, check it out, JD. See, he's putting on that different shirt, and I think it's probably uh, something to that. Maybe that one's not wet. Oh. <laughs> I need a damper shirt. Please, find <laughs> Please. me a damp shirt. JD not played around. Joey trying to dictate the pace, but I'm not sure it's going to work out to his advantage. Joey says it's a thinking man's game, so I'm not exactly sure why he's in there. Oh. Yeah, it's, that's Joey Abel wearing a full-time beast t-shirt. Sure. Yep, sure is. Playing a little psychological game with him. Big lock up in the corner. Don't punch me in your own face. Can't make any guarantees. Kid trying to get in the middle there. I'm not sure that's the wisest idea, buddy. Joey's encouraging it. Yeah, of course he is. Pharaoh, the little distraction tactic. Oh my, Joey, come on, kid. Joey, get get the Pharaoh off. Off the, uh, the squawk box there. He's over there beard jacking. Yeah. Joey tried to get behind JD. JD reaches back. <laughs> JD says no. Tosses him off to the side like a sack of flour. JD feeding off that energy from the fans. Joey calling timeout like that's a thing. Yep. Every time. There's no time here. So. <laughs> we do not have time. No, nope, we sure don't. JD squaring up. Joey wrenched into that left arm. Trying to get some leverage there. There we go. Back around the back. Side headlock to the beast. Nice. 
Not only is the Beast a formidable opponent in the squared circle, but also in the octagon. <laughs> uh, Joey, that's a, that's a wall you just ran into, buddy. You might want to think about not doing that again. Yeah. Pharaoh, you don't want any part of that, buddy. I promise. Joey back up and walking it off. Well, by this point, any plan that Joey Abel came in here with probably had to be set aside. You would think. Joey, it has Joey's been a while a since he has faced J.D. Jenkins. Yeah, it's been a while. Been pretty firmly set up in the uh, tag division here at Battle Zone. Lock up and around. Again with that side headlock to J.D. Jenkins. Pretty JD proud of himself there. He did it again. Yeah, not too bright. He done did it. Again. Joey, that's his good shoulder. Don't hit his good <laughs> right. shoulder. It's not working out for you. Like it don't hit his bad shoulder either. Well, I it's didn't say the that effect. there was a bad shoulder. <laughs> oh, okay. Just don't hit the good one. True enough. Maybe JD, you just don't. JD, you got to get in there, brother. You got to stay on top of people like Joey Abel because he will find every loophole and work around that he can. If you give him all the time he asked for, he will use it. He's going to be looking for a way. All right, so Joey's saying let's uh, let's have a little bit of battle here off the ropes. One, two, three. <laughs> Joey sent to the outside. And the beast is going after him. Pharaoh decides to uh, take a powder over there in the corner. He thought about it for a second. Head rocket from JD. Here he goes up. Oh, oh right on the apron. Hardest part of the ring, Joe. I've heard that. I've said it. I have not experienced it. Well, one day. I choose not to. JD just chopping the 11 daylights out of Joey Abel. And the uh, crowd would like an instant replay. Big slap to that chest. Caught him looking, and now caught him napping. Never look at the calves. Yeah. Just don't. JD broke up the call, but I'm not sure that the kid was paying attention enough. Pharaoh working his magic over on the far side of the ring. That voodoo that he do so well. Joey sitting back in. The beast about to follow suit. Joey able kicking that mid rope right into uh, JD Jenkins. Giving him pause there. JD just rolling around in pain. <laughs> Joey in pain as well. Pharaoh coming up with a little distraction. And Joey just putting the boot right there to the family jewels. Goodness. Well, thankfully, JD's already up one child. Joey taking off that uh, oh, yeah, he's, uh, the his wrist, wrist, tape wrist tape has come right loose. around the throat of the beast. It seems to have come lodged in the neck of the full-time beast. Yeah, it sure has, Joe. What a she shame. I wonder how that happened. Well, thankfully, he has discarded it. It shouldn't cause a problem in the future. Yep. Joey wrapping it up there with the ref. J.D. trying to get back up. Hard elbow to the square of the back there to the beast. Joey shoots him off into the corner. JD up and over. Big soup oh. right there. <laughs> Deposits Joey onto right. the canvas. Right down on the right shoulder. Oh, to my. count. I think the beast lost the boot. That's no good. That, that boot has come dislodged. Well, JD says the hell with shoes. I don't need them. I'm gonna do it in my socks. 
do it the Samoan way, right? Sure. Oh, and a low blow from Joey Abel again. Goodness. The kid gets way too distracted way too often. Oh, headbutt right to the uh, twig and berries there. Well, Pharaoh is a handful, that's for sure. One, two. Oh, oh my. Joey up and over almost gets the kid. Launches. Joey almost pinned the kid. Except there was nobody to count it. Right, so that's the whole problem with yeah, that whole scenario. That's the problem. Yep. Otherwise, the ref would lose every match. Yep. Joey coming off with that tape again. Around the throat of J.D. Jenkins. Evidence. Yep. <laughs> you gonna show it to him later? Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. did you notice that the uh, wrist tape you were using seems to keeps getting lodged in the neck of JD? Hey, handed it out to the kids. Kids Aww. got a souvenir. That's a nice thing. See if you sign it later. I don't see that happening. At least not for now. A small amount of money. I'm not sure he knows JD, how to spell his own name. Quick headbutt to Abel. Abel responds with a boot to the face. I don't really want you to sign autographs when it's just an X. At least he knows how to sign that one. That's true. Now the kid holding on to the belt. Joey and was going to try to use it. Now that full-time beaster has come lobster her on Jake's oh, no. neck. That's hubris for you, isn't it? It is. Up, oh, Joey pulling down the straps. When the straps come down, it's time to wear a get down to business. Well, stop it. Oh, no. Joey wrapping it around JD. These guys constantly try to interfere. I'm not sure why Pharaoh keeps showing the kid the belt. We're all because aware. Because it keeps working. We're all That's aware why. that they are the tag team holders. Uh, Joey seems to have taken it off his belt. Speaking of which. Yeah, you don't wear the tag belt during the match. Oh, Lord. Here we go again. Ah. Oh, no. Around the neck. What seems to be happening? The ref has got to get some type of decorum going here. Enough is enough. Who could have foreseen such an incident? Joey going for the pin. One, two, out at two and a quarter. Joey, come on now. Get off the official. That's the thing about cheating, Joey. It needs to work. Well, he's trying. <laughs> Lord knows he's trying. Joey planning, scheming. Is he going to take it off his boot now? Is he going to make him smell the boot? I mean, it's possible. Pharaoh over there, jaw jacking to JD. Joey puts JD into the corner. Looks like he's going to get some elevation on him. Is he, is he biting his ear? I have no clue. I'll have to look at the instant replay later. You know what? That child is absolutely right. This is stupid. Bring it, JD, up. Did we just lose our job to this child? Nope. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> this is stupid. That kid's got a curfew. Ah, that's true. And can't drive. <laughs> Joey coming through. <laughs> JD out of the way. Oh, Huge my. spear. There it is. And of course, Joey able. But wait, wait, wait. Oh. Gio coming in. Says he's tired of all this nonsense. I can't agree with him more. Gio taking care of the Pharaoh. Rolls him in for some reason. But I think JD might have I'm, something to say. Pharaoh went in to get away from Gio. But who's yeah. right behind him? How about it, Pharaoh? Pharaoh meet Beast. Oh, backhanded oh, oh, oh. shenanigans. Four guys. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Oh. This is not the way it's going to end. I, I'm not having this, folks. There's absolutely no way. No, no. Well, Corey's got up from uh, the uh, from hey, the hey, table. Hey, 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 Renegades. Renegades. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. You know what? You guys like to uh, try some backhanded tactics? Gio trying to come in to help his buddy. We got a tag team match right now. Renegades, back to the ring. Gio, stay right there. Gio and JV against the Renegades of film. Come on, boys. You want a tussle, you got one. Back in the ring.
source for independent wrestling, King of Wrestling Podcast presents Around the Indies. This is Battlezone Championship Wrestling. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Battlezone Championship Wrestling to find all of the info you need for upcoming events and BCW news and updates. Now back to the show. Renegades against JD and Geo, and of course, the Pharaoh going in against Geo again. Pharaoh remembers what this looks like to see Geo Savage across the <laughs> ring, and I didn't think he was too eager to get back into this match. Oh, oh no. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Waste Pharaoh no time getting dirty. Applying that knee to the small of Geo's back, wrenching those arms back, stretching them out. Like Christina, he wants to get dirty. Yeah, you know, you know, it. Have you, know it. It. you know it. Listen, you, you wrote it down on the script uh, for me to I read, it, so I'm don't blame me. I didn't write this. Yeah, well. Oh. Hey, DDT to Geo Madden. Savage. You're right, Geo Savage. I apologize. Even Geo Madden isn't doing that. <laughs> Any mace? I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. Joey Abel in there on top of Geo. Oh my goodness! Drops back on that ankle, working that knee like a part-time job. Renegades isolating Geo Savage, trying to keep him away from JD Jenkins. Nobody wants a fired-up JD Jenkins in this match. Drops him right there on that left knee. Good heavens! Joey trying to. Just put Geo out of commission. And JD a, tried to reach for his partner. I think he's also trying to decide whether he's got enough time to put his boots on. He doesn't. He does not. But he's going to hurt his foot if he keeps stomping like that. You don't worry about the beast. I'm worried about he him. He's full time, and Geo has he the ropes. He just went full time. I don't want him to get put back to part time or adjunct. I don't think there are some The adjunct, adjunct beach beasts. beasts? No? no. Geo Savage being brought to the corner there. Looks oh. like Joey is still trying to work on that boot. Oh, and there he goes. He's tying the boot onto the rope. The kid still caught in a stimulating conversation with the Pharaoh. They're discussing their book from Book Club. What is going on? Kid, pay attention to the match. JD tried to come in, but the kid is focused on him. Meanwhile, the Pharaoh working over Geo. Joey with the false tag. The phantom tag. Geo still trying to get that he boot is, untied from the ring. He is trapped in that corner and at the mercy of the filth, which is not a place where you want no, to be. Nobody, nobody wants that. If you want to that. be at somebody's mercy, you would prefer their name not be filth. Mayro brings him up and down onto that injured left knee. And if it is filth, you'd prefer it to be spelt properly. Trying to reach out for J.D. Jenkins, finding no purchase. Geo stretching those long legs of Geo. Oh, oh my. Man. Just hyper extending the knee. Joey Abel back in for the Renegades. Oh, look, they can actually make real tags. Geo tried to battle back. Joey just wanted JD back in the ring. But not really. But not really. <laughs> not enough to send Geo back to that corner. Still isolating him and down on the Gio knee. Savage is just having a hell of a time. Oh. Joey just toyed with the beast. Hammered away on those quads, those hams. Geo Savage. Another tag. In goes the Pharaoh. Geo Savage scrambling. Uh, Pharaoh's got that half crab on him. Geo Savage trying to battle back out, getting a little bit of elevation to alleviate some of that pressure. 
if he could just reach that rope. He's using all of his strength to try to change his position, but there, there he is. goes. He was close enough. Hold is broken. Oh, poor JD Pharaoh. Now what's he going to do? There. Laying in all 205 pounds into that uh, Indeed he hamstring. Is. <laughs> oh, hard kick from Joey. Gio, come on, buddy. Reach out. Uh-uh. Joey drags him back to the center. Uh. Get that full sit. Ugh. JD stretching out, waiting for just that opportunity. He is the epitome of I wish a mother sucker would. Another tag to the Pharaoh. All these years that the Pharaoh and Joey have worked together and against each other, they know the tag system well and they use it to their advantage. Gio trying the best he can. Pharaoh staying on that left leg, getting all the leverage he can get. Pharaoh just hyper extending that knee. JD just trying to will Gio over to the corner. Reach through the ropes. Gio getting pulled back to the corner. Blind tag, Joey's in. You know, I appreciate Gio coming out to uh, help out JD Jenkins, but he may be rethinking that right about now. Definitely paying the price for it at the moment. Gio up, goes oh. for the bicycle. Joey ducks it, oh. hits him with the reverse. That now back fuel is, kick right to the side of Joey Abel's head. It is just a match game right now. Let's see if either one of those men get to get the corner. Then it, JD is frothy at the mouth. The beast is Gio's ready. It is, it is time. It is full time. Big clothesline to the Pharaoh. Big splash to Joey Abel. Comes up with a boot. Here comes Pharaoh. Goes up. Holds him there, all the blood rushing to his head. But what goes up must come down. Does Five it? Does it, does it have to come later. down? Oh, there Slam. it is. Full time beast clocking in. Joey pulling the beast out to the corner there. Pharaoh still left to the center. JD rocking right Joey's down. head off the barricade here. Onto the stands. Kids, move aside. Oh, clocks him with the water bottle. Good heavens. That's the first bath Joey Abel's had in three months. Geo Savage coming back in, battling against the Pharaoh. Action on the outside. Action inside. And the kids stuck in the middle. Oh, Joey gets rocked off the corner there. Geo sent off the ropes. JD sneaks in. JD coming in. The legal man. One. Two, three. There it is. There it is. Geo and JD pull it out. JD with the surprise roll up on the Pharaoh. Nicely done, gentlemen. Pharaoh grabbing those belts. Wishing goodbye to the renegades of filth. But for that matter, we've still said goodbye.